At 6, the mayor of Muncie arrested and facing federal charges. He's accused of stealing government money. RTV 6's Stephanie Wade has been digging into this story all day long for us. Stephanie, what have you found out? Market Amanda, hundreds of interviews, dozens of search warrants, and hours of surveillance later. United States Attorney Josh Minkler announced today Mayor Dennis Tyler has been indicted on corruption-related charge stemming from a four-year-long investigation. When people in positions of public trust choose to line their pockets at the expense of the very people they serve, the costs can be massive. Mayor Tyler now becomes the seventh person at Muncie City Hall to be arrested by the FBI. U.S. Attorney Josh Minkler says the mayor accepted a $5,000 illegal cash payment to steer work to a local contractor. They arrested him at his home Monday morning. Were you surprised? Very surprised. The FBI investigation into illegal payments for public works projects has been ongoing for four years now. Federal investigators first raided the office of the building commissioner, Craig Nichols, back in January of 2017. He has since been sentenced to two years in federal prison, pleading guilty to wire fraud and money laundering. Muncie's sanitary district administrator and former superintendent of sewer maintenance, as well as two contractors, have also been charged for getting kickbacks in exchange for city projects. Mayor Tyler did not run for re-election this year. New mayor Dan Ridenauer will take office on January 1st. While this has become a pattern in our community of late, I am pleased that two weeks ago, the voters overwhelmingly supported turning the page for a new day in Muncie. Uh, my commitment to all Muncie residents is to fulfill the request our fellow citizens made at the ballot box, to shine a light on the dark corners of city government, to demand excellence from those who serve our residents, and above all, to operate in an honorable way on your behalf. Just hope for new mayor did a big job. Attorney Minkler says this investigation is ongoing. He would not comment on whether we could expect more arrests in this case or not, or how this impacts, if at all, their current investigation into the Muncie Police Department for excessive use of force. We are live downtown. Stephanie Wade, RTV6. Stephanie, thank you.